we're trying to Cranston, we're trying to improve the the environment of, of uh, Ireland by, if you like, by attention to more tree planting, by promoting tree planting, by uh, encouraging tree planting, and by protecting uh, trees, and by trying to generate a tree culture and awareness through education and different promotional aspects. We have a very good magazine. We have a very good publicity. We get involved with tidy towns. We get involved with through promotion at schools, and we have a very good uh, guy who goes to schools, Dale, uh, who encourages youngsters to get involved with trees and, and nature and to enjoyment of, of, of nature. As you have here today, people can go for a picnic, for a walk, just to commune with nature and to forget about everything else and just enjoy trees. Lovely. The likes of Cran have been working very closely with state bodies to actually make it clearly evident. I mean, the signing that there is uh, at the entrance to here and in many other properties, that really helps to make Ireland better. Over 20% of our land is managed primarily for biodiversity and we don't get any direct uh, exchequer funding for it. And a very useful model has been to work with different organisations. At Cran, for example, they're a very good example of where they have a very strong vision around broadleaves in Ireland. And so we can work and tap into their expertise, their energy, to drive some of the things we want to do as well. It's a real partnership where we can bring the land, some of the expertise, other organisations like Cran bring their expertise, their drive, their vision. So that's yeah. probably one of our longest partnerships, yeah. probably yeah. even before partnerships became the in word. Yes. We were working in, what is it, about 1990 with Cran on it. So I think you could argue that these yeah. were, they were the precursors yeah. or forerunners of actually a lot of the things we're now doing around the country.